Swift Creek will carry you away, perhaps where imagination travels. Pretty much all year long, you can come out and hike this trail. Drift Creek Trail winds through dense, rain-drenched Sayusla National Forest. So you can see that we're changing into an older forest type right here. And some of these trees are probably what I would call old growth type trees. Some of the Douglas fir and even the hemlock. The rain gear, it's kind of a necessity. You know, at least have it in your vehicle and then make the call once you get to the trailhead. Also, you want to bring lots of water, food. You want to make sure you got a camera because you're going to see some pretty amazing things. The Drift Creek Trail is amazing until you get to something even better and bigger that will take your breath away. Look at this. Oh, man. I love this place. The 240-foot cable suspension bridge is the longest in any forest and a marvel to stroll. Just the feeling that you're way above the ground because <laughs> you're on a suspension bridge, you're 100 feet off the ground with a stream down below you and a waterfall uh, coming from different sides, uh, it sort of uh, triggers your auditory senses and uh, really is quite a neat experience. Anchored by cables and ties that are cemented into opposing bluffs, the bridge holds over 150,000 pounds. A bird's eye view will leave you spellbound, as does Drift Creek Falls, where Buckingham says something really big happened here during the summer of 2010. The uh, face of the falls and that entire rock tumbled into the stream below. And the stream is actually under the rock now. It goes underground. Whereas there used to be a pool. That's right. After millions of years of standing tall, more than 150 feet of basalt rock wall fell into Drift Creek. Sound must have been deafening. If, and if you were on this bridge when that fell, it would have been really a terrifying experience, I believe. Yeah. Just an explosion of rock and water and debris. Yeah. It's a thrill from way up here, the sort of hiking experience best enjoyed this time of year. Now's the time to get out and view the falls, especially after a uh, large rain event. You can get down here and, and just see something that you, you can't see in the summertime. It's not the same. People love to come here. It's a fantastic to, opportunity to provide places for people to recreate, get in the outdoors, get some exercise, and uh, see some very interesting things. With photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.